Here's my scenario. I already have a top level SharePoint site based on the communication site template, but I'm looking to make a new one that's going to be based uh, on benefits, providing benefits information for my employees. Now, a couple of choices I have, I can go into the gear here, click on um, apply a site template right here and look to see if there's a template that exists for the benefits. So nothing like that exists here. Okay. So the second choice I have is go to lookbook.microsoft.com. There it is. That's what you want to go to. Once you get to lookbook.microsoft.com, you click on view the designs and look at the different designs. Actually, a simpler way of doing that is click on see examples. It will just take you down the page and will let you see all the different designs that exist. One of them is benefits. Awesome. That's what I want. But before I click on it, let me just show you. There's a bunch of other designs here as well. Yeah. Okay. Coming back to organization. Here's a benefits one. I go into it. Now I see this is what it's going to look like to begin with if I choose it, which is exactly what I want. I would choose this one, then I would change it to my needs. Different features of the site, and if you want to read more about it, you can click on any of these links and it'll open up a new tab and show you web part, what content is going to be there. So it's going to have a bunch of sample content. Now you do need to be a tenant admin in your Microsoft Office 365 to do this. You click on add to your tenant. You put in the information, my email address, title of the site, site URL, all that stuff. Click on provision. Now this will take some time. Here, of course, it's asking you, you want me to provision it? You sure? You say yes. Provisioning in progress. Now this process will take a few minutes. I'll pause and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, provisioning has been completed now, so I'll simply click on this link and it quickly opens up my site. Here it is. Now you can look to see all the different content that you have on the site by going to the gear, clicking on site contents, and all the different pages that are here, site assets. These are the main things that you'll find has all the real information. Okay, you can go to each of these pages directly if you want, or go back to the site. And from here, you can go to different pages uh, by clicking on these different things. Now to edit, to get this started, obviously you click on the edit and it's ready to go. You can just go on and start clicking, start editing these things right away, just like that. Okay, and that's how you can quickly make a site. In this case, it was benefits, but any kind of site using either the lookbook or the site templates.